Hi, everybody. This is JJ Long from JJ Artworks, and welcome to episode 10 of our podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. So in this week's episode, I want to talk about the coronavirus and how it's affecting our business. And I just want to get right to the chase, right to the point, and tell you what's going on. Um, it is affecting our event business severely. <laughs> Like most of the rest of the world, uh, I think businesses and industries are being severely impacted by this. And before I kind of get into what is going on with my company and how it's affecting us and what we're doing to respond, um, I first want to say, you know, for those of you, for those families that are being impacted by the virus, for those of you that are sick or have lost a loved one, um, our heart sincerely goes out to you and your families. Um, I know a lot of people are like, you know, this virus is, isn't a big deal, but you also have to understand that there are people that are being severely impacted by this. Um, so um, that's the first thing we want to say. Um, but as far as the virus goes, um, it's definitely something that, you know, in the, the five years that I've owned the paint party business, we've never dealt with anything like this. Um, I think, you know, a lot of businesses out there, a lot of small businesses out there are, you know, finding it hard to stay afloat right now. And I just want to share you, uh, share with you all my perspective on what's going on and what we're kind of do, doing at JJ Artworks to be proactive and kind of keeping spirits high. So I would say maybe two, two weeks ago or maybe even two and a half, three weeks ago, we started getting some cancellations on the calendar. And before I get into what has happened over the past two or three weeks, um, I just want to say that the spring season is usually the busy time of season for the company. Um, spring and fall is usually like the thriving season for us, and uh, winter and summer are kind of the slow seasons. So, you know, my staff and uh, artists and I were really looking forward to like having like a busy season. And, you know, when the virus first came out, we were just kind of like, you know, um, there's this virus that's going around, but, you know, it's not really affecting events. and. You know we're, we'll totally be fine you know we, we all at JJ Artworks we all have the mindset of the show must go on that's just how we are um, we're very hard workers and we like to show up when people want us to come out so two and a half uh, two two and a half weeks ago we got our first cancellation and um, the woman was like I really apologize but like my organization is limiting the amount of group events that we have so unfortunately we need to reschedule and you know at first I thought maybe she was kind of overreacting but at the same time I was like you know what I totally respect that and that's totally fine we'll reschedule for sometime in April or May um, so you know that was the first kind of sign that this was affecting some people this past week on I think like Tuesday or Wednesday we had seven cancellations in the same day um, and that's when I knew that something, you know, in the economy was severely happening. And, you know, I was just kind of like, I still feel like me personally, people are overreacting. But at the same time, you know, I can't control the people. So, you know, we'll totally honor these reschedules and, and that's totally fine. You know, we'll make it through. And then what, when it really hit me was when I went to the grocery store. I went to Market Basket on, uh, I think it was Friday. Actually, I think it was this past Thursday. And seeing the amount of people at the grocery store and people fighting over spots, you know, to, to get into a parking spot and seeing entire shelves completely emptied, like, uh, you know, no toilet paper, the bread aisle completely just gone. Um, no water, no gallons of water, um, definitely no hand sanitizer at all. But it was just, I could see the hysteria on people's faces. And it was in that moment that I realized it was like, wow, we're kind of facing something that um, we're facing a mass pandemic. You know, people are really, really uh, paranoid. And m me, myself as a business owner, I, I can't control that. I, I can't control how the rest of the economy, uh, economy and society functions. I just, I can't, I can't control that. So I can control my response to things and I can control how we're going to move forward. So and that's just how I always think. Um, you can't control the other people. You can only control yourself. So I decided, all right, um, 
and at the same time, I was starting to get, like I'm sure all of you have been experiencing, you know, all these emails in your inbox saying like, you know, this is our response to the COVID-19 virus and the coronavirus. And, you know, I started seeing a lot of other um, colleagues in the event industry um, posting similar things. And I was kind of reading what how other people were phrasing what they were saying. And I was like, you know what, I think it's impor important for JJ Artworks to kind of issue our own response. So this past Friday, we still had maybe, I think like three or four events on the calendar. And I decided to postpone uh, all the events uh, through March 31st. So like the rest of the month, like we're not accepting any more events. We're not uh, actively reaching out to other people to get events on the calendar. Uh, and we basically rescheduled all of the events for March. And that was a really difficult decision because cash flow is really tight. <laughs> it's, it's really tight right now. And, uh, but at the same time, we have to do the responsible thing. Um, I feel it would, there would be nothing worse than, you know, if we had the show must go, go on mentality and then we hosted a JJ Outworks paint party and because of our event, we, like infected like 15 people or something I would that that, that is not the headlines that I want <laughs> for my company so like I said we, we just kind of issued that response we, we sent it out via our newsletter and on social media and that was a really difficult decision for me but I felt like it was the necessary one and the most responsible one so yeah so it's really really affecting us big time but my artists and I and my staff were very we're holding um, we're staying positive and vigilant with everything that's going on there's a part of me too because I'm a very spiritual person there's a part of me that feels like the universe is doing this to us for a reason I also believe in karma I believe that everything happens for a reason and I think what this what the coronavirus is doing for us right now is as human beings is it's allowing us and giving us the chance to kind of hit the reset button a little bit and kind of giving us a moment to kind of um, kind of like cleanse ourselves in a way and just kind of relax and unwind and kind of be close at home with our families you know and I mean I know not everyone's quarantining themselves I've definitely been out and about and I've been um, having dinner with friends and um, meeting up with people, going to the coffee shops and everything. But, you know, I, I really feel that, and I'm not saying like, you know, the universe is trying to cleanse itself of the human po population. I'm not trying to go after the whole apocalypse theme or anything. I'm just saying that, you know, where, you know, as human beings, we have such fast paced lives with work and family and the kids and you know, we don't have time to barely breathe. I think that this is really giving us all a chance to kind of, you know, stay grounded and kind of really reflect on the things that matter to us most. And I really feel like that's something that is purposely happening to us all right now. And I feel like the universe is kind of delivering that to us. So having all that said, um, what we plan on doing at JG Artworks is we're still staying proactive with the event business. I don't want anyone, you know, in the world thinking that we're going to stop doing paint parties. <laughs> that is not what's going to happen. Um, I have been spending a very, very, very long time building up this creative empire, and I'm not letting a damn virus take us out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, coronavirus, but you're not taking us out. <laughs> And um, what we're doing, since we can't physically, you know, be in a group setting and create with people, and, and we love, we love being out and about and socializing and creative, creating with people because we really feel like as a business, we kind of serve as therapy for a lot of people. I mean, like when we do a paint party, we're, we're doing it because, you know, a lot of people want to just unwind and relax and, and de-stress from work and you know, where everyone's kind of stressed out with this whole coronavirus, people can't do that. And we can't, you know, come to the table and help people out in that way. So it's really kind of frustrating for us too, because we want to serve as an outlet for people, but we can't. So since we can't, you know, interact with people in person, what we've decided to do is just really focus on doing more sample paintings for the website. 
We've been focusing on thinking of different new creative uh, concepts that we can host once, you know, events can get back on the calendar. We've been really focusing on, like me personally, I've been focusing on um, polishing up the website and um, just doing a lot of these odds and ends projects that I've been kind of putting putting off on the on the calendar. And now that I kind of have a little bit of downtime since we're not teaching as much, um, I'm able to kind of touch upon those uh, different things. So we're definitely being pro productive in other ways because when I really, really think about this, when I really, really think about this, I can't picture a world where we don't have social gatherings. I cannot picture that at all. I can't picture a world in which we have no more sporting events, where we have no more concerts, where we have uh, n no more you know, conferences or festivals or shows of any types, where we have no more social gatherings. I cannot picture a world where that doesn't happen. So I'm trying to be proactive and you know, when, when events do start happening again, when social gatherings do start happening again, I want JJ Artworks to answer the call. I want us to be prepared, I want us to be ready, because it's gonna happen. I'm telling you right now, damn you coronavirus, <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're gonna start being able to be out in public and, and hugging people and high-fiving and shaking hands and all that stuff. It, it, it has to happen, that's part of being a human being. And uh, I don't know, like anyone else, I don't know if it's you know maybe mid-April, that's when things kind of get back to normal, maybe May you know, maybe June, but no matter what, we're still going to be teaching paint parties till the day we die, and we're still going to be holding events for people. So that's something that's definitely still going to happen. We're not going to just crumble and, and fail because of this virus that people are kind of, um, you know, being hysterical over. Uh, and, and for those of you guys that are hysterical, I, I don't blame you, and I totally understand, you know, but try not to you know, fall into that fear so much. Try to be positive and try to be productive in other ways. You know, work on those new creative projects that you want to do but haven't had time to do. Uh, have more family time. Netflix, Netflix and chill and catch up on some old TV shows that you've been wanting to do but you haven't had time because you've been working so hard. Um, just take some time to kind of relax and be with yourself and um, but don't go crazy. Don't make any drastic decisions or moves because of this. It's going to blow over, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so that's how the coronavirus is affecting our business. That's our response. That's what we're kind of doing to be proactive during this whole thing. And, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. But I also want to talk to you guys about, uh, on a positive note, I want to talk to you all about the progress I've been making on, the, on my professional art career and how I've been kind of focusing my attention on different tasks that I need to hit in order to reach my goals. And I want to tell you what those goals are real quick. So I think the, the last episode, was that the last episode, episode nine? I think it was. I, I think I told all you guys that I want to start acting again and I really want to start doing action, action movies. That's something I really still want to do. And I was thinking about taking martial arts classes. So me being me, I was like, okay, so before I start taking martial arts classes, I just kind of want to get a physical done because I have a really sore right knee. And I was like, I just kind of want to get this checked out because, you know, God forbid I need, you know, you know, I have ACL damage or I need to have surgery for meniscus or whatever, you know, I need to get done. I just want to make sure that's all done and I'm healthy before I start taking these really high intensity um, martial arts classes. And I still have no idea what style or genre I want to do, but um, I figured this is a step in the right direction to kind of, um, you know, make sure I'm healthy before I start doing these, these classes. So I went in, and I'm so grateful for the medical team I have. And they were like, no, it's not. They did some um, exercises with my knee, and it really only hurts when I do squats and. What happened was, I know I'm kind of trailing off a little bit, but what happened was about a year ago, I was at the gym and I was doing like some air squats. So I didn't have any weight on my shoulders. I was just like, just just like I'm here and now, I'm just kind of like really quickly, you know, going down with on my knees. And I, when I was doing that, I felt like a tear or like a, a pull somehow. 
like maybe pulling a muscle and I was like oh man that does not feel good I was like something's wrong and I since that day something has been wrong but I tried you know toughen it out I'm like you know maybe it's nothing maybe it'll go away in a couple weeks and you know two or three weeks later it felt better but it wasn't fully healed and since you know a year ago I've had a sore right knee so when I was at the doctors the other day I checked it out we did some exercises and they were like it's not an ACL it's not a meniscus and they were like we think it's a strain that just never properly healed so what you need to do is you need to do some PT uh, physical therapy and it's probably gonna take like maybe six to eight weeks of physical therapy to have it back to 100 percent so I was super grateful for that. I'm like, thank you, God. You know, I want to be able to, you know, do some martial arts on camera. And um, yeah, so I have to start doing that in April. So six to eight weeks of physical therapy. And after everything that's been going on with the coronavirus and how business is kind of super slow um, and where I have to do the physical therapy, I decided that I'm probably not going to start taking martial arts classes until the fall. So that kind of reframed, you know, my priority list a little bit. So like the last episode, I was like, I really want to focus on film, but now I'm realizing, okay, shoot. <laughs> so I need to get healthy first and I need to kind of take care of the business a little bit more before I go all in with a film career again. Um, and I mean, I can, I can focus on, you know, a film career in other ways. I can maybe do some short films here or there that doesn't involve action or I could start taking classes again or you know uh, start reading uh, screenplays and start acting on my own and doing monologues or whatever but um, I really wanted to start doing the action stuff man I really <laughs> I've been watching so many like kung fu movies and everything and I'm just I'm, I'm all in I'm all in you know I would love to be a Jet Li <laughs> uh, I can't wait to start using weapons and stuff but anyways um, I digress so the film career is on hold a little bit, probably not until fall. And I've also decided that I will start doing other creative projects though. So I want to start writing music. I'd love to do like a three song demo. Um, and I want it to be recorded in like an 80s synth wave style with some really cool atmospheric vocals. Kind of like the intro and outro that you hear on this podcast episode. Um, but I want to make it more dynamic and more of like a ballad type thing. So that's something I really, really want to focus on, um, you know, in the next couple of months. And then I'm also in the process of writing a nonfiction book on progress. And I'm also, what else am I doing? I also have like this awesome, like really big um, 36 by 48 inch canvas that I want to start working on and make it kind of like a lifestyle themed painting. I'll touch more upon that in another podcast episode because it looks like we're running a little over time today. I just had a lot to say today. Uh, and then also, I'm um, still learning how to play piano. Um, I've learned a little bit more of that Coldplay, The Scientist uh, song on piano, which I'm really excited about. And I think once I learn how to play the whole song and after I kind of get a little bit more polished and not so embarrassed to play it in front of people, <laughs> that I will maybe do a YouTube video or something and uh, play that for you guys. Or maybe I'll somehow try to plug the piano into my computer and record that for you guys and do it on the podcast. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I, I just have a lot of different creative projects in the pipeline. I have a lot of things I want to focus on. And I just want to share that with you guys too. Because I know the coronavirus is kind of a negative, stressful thing that everyone's experiencing today. But um, I also just wanted to share a little bit about positive things that are going, in, going on in my life too. So um, that's all I got to say today. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, if you could, if, if you like what you hear and you want to support the podcast, you can do that by visiting our Patreon page. You can do that by going to www.patreon.com backslash JJ Artworks. And then if you could also check out our official website at www.jjartworks.com, that'd be great. And you can learn about our company and all the services that we offer. So thank you all so much for tuning in and stay safe and healthy out there. And we look forward to talking to you guys in episode 11 next week. Have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Bye.